What I'm going to install today is a Precision 9 compass. And what this compass is going to do with the radar, it's going to work with the radar. I'll be able to track um, boats. I'll be able to track 10 to 20 um, boat locations. And it'll pinpoint targets on the radar. So it's um, very simple to install. This points to the bow. You want that pointing towards your your orientation, which would be direction. So this is a compass. I have this Minkota. This is a GPS. I made some videos on this already. I might have said uh, compass um, on the videos, but it's a GPS. And that one is a GPS too for the autopilot. So when you install all of these things, okay, they want them about two foot apart. Now the radar is going up in the bow and it might be a little bit close to that one. So I might have to move that one later. Um, you don't want interference between these by sticking them all on top of one another. I seen a video, this uh, person was installing radar and he had these GPS devices and he stuck the radar like almost right over top of them. And I left a comment saying, aren't those supposed to be two foot apart? And he told me, I have no problems with it. It works fine. So I said to myself, okay, so let's just take a, a scenario. You're out there at night, you're navigating, it's foggy, and there's rock jetties around you and you gotta get into the inlet. Okay, so they were working fine, but all of a sudden, this particular night, they decided not to work for some reason. Maybe the density of the fog or who knows what it was. But they got scrambled, okay? And he couldn't pinpoint the location of the jetty accurately. And he ended up, the boat ended up on the jetty. Okay, that, that's a scenario that could happen. So when they tell you two foot apart, I do what they tell you, especially with electronics. So we're going to get this um, template. There's a template. We're going to get that down on the boat. We're going to drill our holes, and I'm going to pull a speaker out underneath so I have access. I have a, a chase wire, a chase uh, string already strung from here to the electronics box. Um, when I ran this one, I put an extra string in case I got to run something else, and I'm running something else. So I'll, uh, I'll come back to you when I'm a little bit further into this. All right, guys, we're here installing the electronic compass Precision 9. So I'm going to mount it up here. I have to get the wires from here to there. And there's a chase pipe in there, but the pipe is so small. They put such a small pipe in. When they build these boats, all they're worried about is getting the boat out. They don't think about somebody else doing something in the future. So I had a lot of wires in the pipe. And this um, is the wire for the compass. It has to go to the NEMA network. And this fitting, you see the size of that fitting, that has to go through the pipe. But with all the wires in the pipe, I couldn't do it. It wouldn't go through. So I had to cut wires, I had to pull the wires back, I had to pull wires back that way, so everything is out of the pipe, except for one or two. And it seems like it's going through. So, sometimes you got to go backwards to go forward, and if I can get this wire through, then, um, then we're all set. I'll be happy. I'm in the electronics box. If I could just get it to come down now. I have to see what it's hanging up on. 
Okay, I got it through. I had to take one more wire out um, to get it through. And I put a pull string in here too, so I have a pull string. So now I could put the compass up top on the, on the hard top because I got the wire through. And, okay, get the slack out. Glad that is done now. Hopefully I can get the rest of the wires back in the pipe. Um, okay, dokie. It's a big job done. So now we're going to mount the compass up on the top. Okay, guys. What I did was came off of this GPS device and I drew a center line off of that and this will be facing this direction and this is the fitting that we have to go attach to underneath and you got to make sure there's nothing under that I have this light here that I'm going to clear for so I'm going to drill a small hole to see where it comes out and then if it looks good, I'll go through with the bigger hole. But this is going to be the approximate location. Oh, no power. Okay, let me get some power. Alright, so we got our hole drilled here. I used the wood bit. For drilling wood and when you drill fiberglass I always run the drill bit in reverse to start off and that'll prevent you from getting cracks chipping the um, the outer coat in fact I'm gonna bevel this with a file um, in a minute put a bevel on it that prevents spider cracks so this is where the compass is gonna go and remember it has to face forward the compass and we want uh, as much as forward as possible you know you don't want it off to the 90 degree or 180 degree i heard people put them 180 degrees and they couldn't wonder why nothing was working so we're going to mark these holes or drill them with a drill bit once i get this thing lined up and then we'll put our wire on and uh silicone it down and put some screws in it Okay, we got our hole drilled. We got the wire attached to the compass. I drilled the, the mounting holes and uh, tapped them with the screw. And I, I chamfer, when you drill a hole through fiberglass, you wanna chamfer um, the top of the gel coat. I take a bigger drill bit I put it in the drill and I, I run it in reverse and I make a chamfer on the hole. That keeps it from cracking. If you notice when you buy a boat from the factory, they don't do that. And after a couple of years, you get spider cracks running off of the hole. So we're going to put this down. Um, I got the, the cable hooked up to it. I got silicone. I got silicone, actually I'm making a mess already. I didn't want to do that. You gotta watch what you touch. I'm using black. Um, it's not my favorite for boats, but I had it in the caulking gun. So, okay, now you wanna line this up to the, to the front the way you, you drilled the holes get your screws in here and get one started okay let's get in there get that one started 
get the other one in. The silicone is going to help hold this down because these machine screws are just going into the fiberglass. It's not much. There's not much strength. That'll just keep it down until the silicone dries. Okay, that's it. Now these GPS units, you do them the same way. You face them forward, the direction that they tell you. You put your holes, you run your wire down through there. It's the same thing with these, okay? So this is our compass on here. So we're done with that. Okay, so we got the compass up top. I ran the wire, like I explained earlier, through the tube. And I came out in the electronics box. Now we're going to run down through the pipe, all the way down into the console. And I have my NEMA 2000 uh, grid down there. This is going to go into the NEMA 2000 grid. And what a NEMA 2000 does, all your electronics, everything is hooked into that. Um, and that talks, they all talk to one another. So that's where this is going to go.